The next ruse I'd like to uh, look at in Archicad are a group of more slightly more complex shape roofs. These um, are all types of hip roofs um, and there are three different types. The uh, middle one's probably the most simple. Um, we basically draw the roof from the springing height of the roof and in different uh, forms of construction that occurs in different places. So in a double brickwork or brick veneer it's usually the outside face of the inner skin uh, but it can vary. Um, the, a good place to always start is to open up the dialog box. If we double click um, Archicad we can set, uh, like I've said before, the, the, the thickness of the plane of the roof, the pitch of the roof, uh, but more importantly is the height of the roof. It's always measured to the springing line and so um, we're in the ground floor story at the moment. If I was to leave it at zero it would um, spring the roof at the same level as the floor. Um, so I'm going to spring it at 2700. Um, I'll set the, uh, the pitch of the roof at 32 degrees um, and I'll leave everything else much the same. So I'll say OK and then draw the roof from this corner through to this corner here and we get um, a roof looking like that on plan. I'll put the marquee around the part of the model that I want to generate in 3D and hit F5 on the keyboard. Um, and what we get, uh, if I want to orbit, I hit O on the keyboard and I can orbit around the building. Now what we get is a, uh, is a simple hip roof which we can alter. So uh, the materials we can alter simply enough. I can select the roof and what I just did then is hold the shift key down um, and click on the plane of the roof. Remember we talked about the magnet before sensing uh, the little symbol of the magnet sensing where the roof is underneath the cursor and it will automatically um, select the roof. I can alter that roof so things like materials I could change if I wanted to I could uh, pick some other roof tile for example and um, I could get roof tiles on the surface. Um, the other things you can change in Archicad in respect to these types of roofs is you can alter the overhang just like we did before on the skillion. I can select that, say click the corner and choose this one here and I can change the size of the overhang for example. I can hit uh, tab and say add another 200 millimeters uh, to the size of that overhang. Okay. Um, or you can also subtract if you wish. Other things you can change are things like gables. So I can grab that corner and using uh, this option in the pet palette. Um, that one. I can drag that uh, gable out and I can line up that gable out there. Now if I see that in 3D, what it's basically done, it has uh, O on the keyboard to orbit. Um, it has turned that into a gable. Okay. And I can grab the edge of this wall, for example, using uh, this option here. I can drag the edge of this wall. Hitting tab, you can drag it as far as you like. Or uh, the other things you can, if I hit escape, I can uh, stop that happening. I can also uh, line that up on things like, say, the corner of that brickwork. So that's now flush with the brickwork. And then I can drag that out, say, another tab 450. Um, 
You can also do things, a lot of that you can do in 3D. So for example, I can uh, orbit around here and uh, grab that same point. So I hold the shift key to select, grab that point there, and I can use this option to drag out that hip and turn it into a gable again. I can do things like grab the ridge line and uh, either make the ridge taller um, so you can increase the height of that ridge you can see that happening there um, you can also change the position of the ridge so I can change the pitch on both sides of the building okay. uh, which is unusual but uh, you occasionally see that happen there's a lot of these changes you can make in both the 3D and the 2D windows. Okay. So um, why don't you have a go at just getting familiar with, um, with those types of roofs um, and we'll have a look at a couple more.